believe it or not, but over a million patients around the world have a PCI each year. Despite decades of research, however, the clinical significance of paraprocedural MI remains a matter of considerable controversy. Is it a clinically significant complication or not? All data published to date are retrospective and demonstrate an association with outcomes, but not a causal relationship, and predate the use of contemporary cardiac troponin analysis. From a clinician's practical perspective, the unanswered questions are the following. Should we routinely screen for MI? Which patients need to be observed in hospital for a longer duration? What should we tell patients who sustained an MI despite an otherwise successful procedure? And is periprocedural MI prognostically equivalent to spontaneous myocardial infarction? Now in the European Heart Journal, there is an editorial review of a Korean study that analyzed the incidents, mechanisms, risk factors, and relationship to outcomes of periprocedural MI following PCI. The study points out that side branch occlusion was the most common cause in more than half of the patients. Other reasons included slow or no reflow, flow-limiting dissection, and distal embolization. No mechanism could be identified in a fifth of the cases in whom microembolization or microvascular injury were the likely causes. The editorial points out that a CKMB rise more than three times is associated with statistically significant and, by implication, clinically meaningful increased risk of mortality. That statement is consistent with previous studies using this biomarker. But recent studies using contemporary troponin assays have better addressed the limitation and report low, if any, independent predictive value of periprocedural MI for adverse outcomes. Remember that an analysis from the Acuity trial database in patients presenting with non-ST segment elevation MI found that spontaneous MI was a powerful independent predictor of mortality, but in comparison, periprocedural MI was not. A recent investigation from the early ACS and Synergy trials support that conclusion. The take-home message is this. Periprocedural MI, defined by biomarker levels alone, is a marker of atherosclerosis burden and procedural complexity, but in most cases does not have independent prognostic significance. Although large periprocedural MIs may impact prognosis, these rarely occur in patients with normal baseline troponin or in the absence of procedural complications. Nevertheless, we still need research to establish the optimal troponin threshold for defining a clinically significant periprocedural MI. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.